Hi everybody, and welcome to the video on safety stock. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna work with a Z-score. Um, I call the first formula here, formula A. It's the typical formula right out of the book. And then I just solve the same formula for X, and I call that formula 1B. It's really the same formula, it just makes it easier to work with in this form. All right, so back to our Formula 1A. We use Formula 1A for finding our service level policy when we're given an amount of um, uh, extra units to keep in safety stock. So let's make believe we're given this information right here. Uh, we're give, we've already calculated our reorder point. So that's the same thing as our mu. So I'm just um, gonna put it up here. Um, just to make things easier, I'm just going to uh, create range names so we can see the formulas. All right, so this is simply um, my reorder point here. Uh, my X is my reorder point um, plus how many extra units you're adding. Let's say that your boss told you to keep an extra 10 units in uh, safety stock. So that would go there. Uh, we're given a, a standard deviation of 12. Um, this is known as a scaling factor in here because the area under the curve is standard normal. So we have to multiply it by the scaling factor uh, to relate, relate our real problem uh, to the standard normal curve. All right, so what I like here is, um, uh, by defining the range name so we can actually see the formula. So we have X minus mu um, divided by our standard deviations. All right, so that gives us a Z score of 0.83. What we need is our service level policy based on that. So we're gonna go to the Z table <clears throat> and we have 0.8 here and we have 0.3 over there. I'll show you one cool thing you can do is you put in an equal sign here, go back to the Z table, we have 0.8 and 0.3 is right there. Um, <clears throat> now if I hit enter, it just brings it forward for me. Um, just to make this look prettier, uh, the Z service level policy is always expressed as a percentage, so I'm just gonna hit the percentage key um, add a few zeros to make it look good. So a little over 79% of the time, we'll have units in stock when a customer comes in and wants to place an order. All right, the other way we could do this is, given the service level policy, we can figure out how many extra units we have to have in, in stock. So we start out with our service level policy and we have to get our Z score. So I'm gonna go back to the table. In this table, we find 0.95 and 0.95 is right here. You notice this is actually a little over, this is a little under. So it's somewhere 1.64 to 1.65, somewhere in the middle here. In this class, we're always just gonna round up because our demand, which all EOQ is based on, is a sales forecast to begin with. Um, but if you wanted to find it out for real, uh, you set up <clears throat> a ratio and then solve for the variable, right? So you would, you know, 1.65 is to the z-score uh, 0.905 as 1.649 is to A. Oops, I did it right here. Um, this one here. Anyway, this would be a real z-score if you did that. So you extrapolate and uh, you could get it. But much easier in this class, we're just going to round up. So again, we're going to take this number here, 1.6 and 5, you know, where it converges on this number right here. Um, that's what we're going to use for our z-score. 1.65. All right, so my standard deviations are, um, oops. So my standard uh, uh, 
my ROP, I'm sorry, is 100. Um, my standard deviations are 12. Um, uh, from that, we could figure out our x. We actually like to do x minus u, mu first, because this gives us the number of units of safety stock, uh, which is really what you're looking for. So rather than two calculations, I always just do one. So I'm just going to put my z-score scaled by my real-world standard deviation. Um, right here. So that means I need 19.8. And if I wanted to get my total inventory level to that, I would just add um, my reorder point. All right. So that's all there is to it. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. Have a good day.